first thing I'd like to see happen is for it to, you know, become interfaced with a modern computer which has so much more memory than, I mean, we, we were using a computer that was built in 1987. And I, th I don't know, is, what, what, what was it? It wasn't many more than uh, a couple hundred, you know, <laughs> uh, megabytes of RAM or something. You know, I mean, it was really, uh, really very, very limited in terms of what it can do. I, 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 when I begin to talk about technical things, I'm way out of my element. I may have stated that wrong, but but in any case, it, it, it had very little memory compared to what every computer has now, you know. And use, use a, a software program on that computer. So then you would just have to take the computer in and set it up and the, the synthesizer, that, I mean the keyboard rather, that would be it because all the synthesizing would be done by the computer. You can <coughs> get almost any um, kind of program and all sorts of varieties of programs on on a modern computer now and, and it doesn't have any trouble. In fact, Native Instruments has sent me a lot of their material to work with. But of course, to work with that, we can't use the, the dinosaurs that we did use. You know, we have to, we have, to have a, at least a power, uh, a power Mac and maybe something, you know, even, uh, well, as much, as much memory as we can get, yeah. you know. I guess the keyboard should be facing the audience so they can see what I'm doing on the keys. You know, <laughs> to find old computers is really a, yeah. really a chore, you know. <laughs> and to find people who know how they work is also a chore. <laughs> okay, so then, uh, <laughs>